In this video, we will prove the clausius mosset relation. Here, we only consider the elements for which the polarization is solely depend on the electronic polarizability only. So, the other polarizabilities like ionic and orientational would be zero. So, ionic polarizability that is alpha i and orientational that is alpha o that is equal to zero and we know that the polarization that is p equal to n into alpha o plus alpha i plus alpha e into electric field and here alpha o and alpha i equal to zero so that is in alpha e into ei here this ei that is this is the local field or internal electric field and this is given by equal to e plus p by 3 epsilon naught here E is the externally applied electric field. Okay. So P equal to N alpha into E plus P by thrice epsilon naught. Okay. It's from this P that is equal to N alpha into E plus N alpha into p by 3 uh, thrice epsilon naught now we take this part to the left side so it will be p into 1 minus n alpha by thrice epsilon naught that's equal to n alpha e into e vector now we know that the displacement vector in electrostat that is given by d vector is equal to epsilon naught e plus polarization p and from this p equal to d minus epsilon naught e and this d vector is given by epsilon naught into epsilon e minus epsilon naught e and if you take common epsilon naught then it will be epsilon naught minus 1 into a vector and we can put this p value in that case but before we have to find the p from this relation that is p equal to n alpha e by 1 minus n alpha y thrice epsilon naught now we can put the value of p that is polarization there it is epsilon naught into epsilon minus 1 e equal to n alpha e by 1 minus n alpha by thrice epsilon naught now from this this e and e cancelled so remaining part epsilon naught into epsilon minus 1 that's equal to n alpha by 1 minus n alpha by thrice epsilon naught and we take this as equation number one now we add thrice epsilon naught on both sides of this equation number one so that is like this plus th thrice epsilon naught and after simplification it will be like epsilon naught into epsilon plus two and that's equal to from this part n alpha e plus thrice epsilon naught minus n alpha by 1 minus n alpha by thrice epsilon naught and from this epsilon naught into epsilon plus 2 equal to thrice epsilon naught because this is cancelled by 1 minus n alpha by thrice epsilon naught and we take this as equation number 2 
now if we divide this equation number 1 with 2 then we get that 1 by 2 epsilon into epsilon minus 1 by from 2 epsilon not into epsilon plus 2 that's equal to from 1 this term that is n alpha by 1 minus thri n alpha by thrice epsilon naught by from this 2 equation number 2 thrice epsilon naught by 1 minus n alpha by thrice epsilon naught now from this this two term cancelled so remaining term n alpha by thrice epsilon naught okay and from this this epsilon naught cancelled so remaining epsilon minus 1 by epsilon plus 2 equal to n alpha by thrice epsilon naught thus we get the clausius mosset relation and if we enlarge this system for multiple dielectric medium then the clausius mosset relation will be changed like this so for multiple dielectric medium this relation changes like the left hand side will be same that is epsilon minus 1 by epsilon plus 2 but the in the right hand side there will be a sum of i over n and alpha so n i into alpha e i just like this this is the closest most relation for multiple dielectric